find some bacteriophage. Now, you know, they're everywhere in the environment, right? And there are some commercial products out there that are bacteriophage specific against salmonella. But what we wanted to do is we wanted to go into poultry environments and find salmonella infantis bacteriophage. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Poultry Nutrition Black Belt Podcast. I am your host, Kelly Walmsley, today, and we are joined by Dr. Diana Barassa. And you are an associate professor at uh, Auburn University and extension specialist, right, Diana? That's right. Thank you. Thanks for joining us so much today. Really appreciate it. Um, so we saw each other a couple weeks ago or uh, at a meeting at the in Atlanta, the International Poultry um, Scientific Forum, right? And you had a couple students there presenting research um, and a lot of different projects. Um, so I wanted to kind of talk to you about one of the projects today. Diana, first, before we get into uh, the research that you're going to talk about, um, I want to, can you get, give us a little bit about your position at Auburn University in the Department of Poultry Science? Sure. So I've been here at Auburn for going on eight years now. Um, I was hired to do poultry processing, research, and extension. So that's that's pretty much what I've been doing. Um, I was trained as a microbiologist at the University of Georgia. But when I got here, I had a percentage of my appointment as extension. So I spent a lot of time talking to poultry processors, um, hearing about what's going on with them and their problems. So I've worked both in food safety and processing, but I've also gone down the road of working on uh, stunning methods as well. So whatever the processors need, that's kind of the direction we go with our research. Elevate bird well-being and improve profitability with Cargill's tailored nutrient solutions that deliver performance. Cargill is leading through applied nutrition, leveraging deep nutrient insights and understanding of the animal's nutrient requirements to achieve your production and performance goals. Yeah, I agree. And very, like you said, very applicable. And, you know, even though, you know, as a nutritionist, we're trying to feed, you know, as optimal um, uh, nutrition as possible and give the bird everything that it needs. Um, but then it also has to be processed at the end. And so that's a very important process to get to the grocery store or to get in front of um, in front of us on our plate. So, <laughs> um, and part of that is having safe food too. Um, and so specifically the project that I wanted to talk to you about was one of your students work with bacteriophages. So can you kind of tell us a little bit about that project that they presented at IPSF? Sure. So um, one of my graduate students, his name is Juan Figueroa. So he should be graduating in August of this year. Um, what his project right. was is to find some bacteriophage. Now, you know, they're everywhere in the environment, right? And there are some commercial products out there that are bacteriophage specific against salmonella. But what we wanted to do is we wanted to go into poultry environments and find salmonella infantis bacteriophage. And in order to do that, we wanted to look in a bunch of different poultry kind of places. So not just regular environment, but poultry places. So we went to a, uh, a poultry complex that we knew had had Infantis in their processing plant. So that we knew it was a thing for that particular complex. So we worked with them and we were able to get samples from uh, on the farm. So farms that they knew were kind of like um, challenge farms or, you know, difficult sometimes. And uh, we got litter from those farms. We got Sika from those birds. And then in the processing plants, we looked in a bunch of different places. So we looked at scalding water, we looked at carcasses and parts rinses, but we also looked in the wastewater treatment. So we pulled um, dissolved air flotation water and dissolved air flotation solids. And we looked for bacteriophage everywhere from the, the beginning to the end. And we saw some kind of interesting things um, like uh, in the scalder water, we found phage in every sample, but say in like carcass or parts rinses, we didn't find anything at all. So there were no phage associated with the birds, but scalder water, kind of the, uh, 
um, that fecal contamination comes in with the birds. There was a bunch there, a little bit in litter in Sika, but it was hit and miss. And the other really great place was actually in the wastewater treatment uh, train in the uh, dissolved air flotation water. We were able to find infantis specific bacteriophage in every sample we took out of our DAF water. So that was that was pretty exciting. Uh, yeah. So, so what exactly does that mean? What is a bacteriophage? And then what, what does that mean? Why are you so excited to find it in some of those places? And then, you know, okay, and then you expect to see it in some places and not in others. Well, uh, what a bacteriophage is, it's just basically a, a virus that is going to attack bacteria. So, you know, you know COVID attacks people. Um, bacteriophage are going to attack bacteria. And we want ones that are specific for, you know, what we're targeting is Infantis, which has become one of our, our top salmonella strains uh, of concern um, in the U.S. and really worldwide. So we're looking for alternatives for reducing salmonella. Um, we, we all know it's still getting through, right? We do all these uh, probiotics, prebiotics, feed ingredients to, to minimize salmonella. We use organic acids in water to minimize salmonella. We use, uh, here in the U.S., we use antimicrobials like or peroxyacetic acid in the processing plant to minimize salmonella. But we really need some more tools. Um, we haven't solved the problem. Right. You know, it's still getting through. It's still going to on raw chicken. So we're continuing to work to solve that problem in bacteriophage. It's so one of those things that could be a new, uh, not really new, but an, an alternative to reducing salmonella if it can be produced in an economic way. Okay. So we started with Infantis, um, but another real interesting thing is we compare those bacteria phase to see what other serotypes that they can also reduce. And there's really a, kind of a long list. Some of the, the phage have like 10 or more serotypes that they're effective against. Oh, wow. Of course, Infantis, but also other serotypes like Montevideo, Agona, um, Typhimerium, Newport. So there's some that have a lot of relevance for human health, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. With science-led solutions that are sustainable, proven, and effective, BASF helps you tackle the challenges of poultry nutrition. We offer high-quality feed ingredients that enable a more sustainable production and help you achieve your animal performance targets. We call it the science of sustainable feed that succeeds. Thank you for your time today. I really appreciate um, chatting again. And um, I want you to tell me, um, so since it is a Black Belt podcast, who would you pick? Uh, Jackie Chan or Chuck Norris? Oh, Jackie Chan. <laughs> awesome. Well, we'll leave it with that. And thank you guys for joining us with another episode of the Poultry Nutrition Black Belt Podcast. I'm Kelly Walmsley, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.